I will have folk, you know, there should be a national strike now. Because the cost of living is affecting everyone. The company I work for, we've not had a pay rise for five, five, six years. We've not had a pay rise. But this is not just about pay, it's about safety of the public. They want to take off guards on all our trains. When you go on trains at night, you need a member of staff walking through those trains to assure the vulnerable, the elderly, young girls that they're not just alone. You know, so any form of attack, you've got a guard on the train who can at least call for help on their behalf. What the government is proposing again is to take off all the rail operator that dispatches trains on the platform. So what that means is when trains are leaving the station, there's no one on the platform to check if anyone is caught up on the train. This is very dangerous. By taking these jobs away, you are leaving the general public vulnerable. They're looking to close all the ticket offices in the country. There are you know, elderly people who come to the train station wanting to speak to individuals about buying tickets, not just you know, speaking to machines. They want to make us work compulsory night. They want to make Sunday part of the working week against our will. This was never the deal in the past. During COVID, I had to leave home every of those days, you know, come on, you know, risk my life, risk the life of my family, the risk of COVID, coming to work, thinking I'm helping the public. The company I work for during COVID said there was no money, but, you know, looking through their, you know, balance sheet, they declare profit. All the profit has been made in that period went straight to shareholders who were never even out. All we're now getting from the government is saying, your job is now under threat. I don't think that's a fair way of treating people. All we want is just for the government to come to that negotiating table and talk. The government has talked about changes, bringing changes to the railway. Most of them who've made this decision, they don't know nothing about railway. And this is why RMT is telling them, look, talk to us, all your proposals, they bring it on the table and they tell you if you can work or not. We are not resistant to changes. We are saying is, whatever changes, let us be part of those changes.